Right, so would you like to try this on? So if you keep your arms relaxed and straight, and I'll pull it over your shoulders and turn and face me. And pop your thumbs in the front for me. Thank you. Uh, so this panel in the front, that foam section there, protects where your zip goes, which is why you pull your thumbs forward. If you can turn and face that wall for me. So we're just going to check the fitting here. So this is your adjustment. So it's really simple to tighten it up. You just hold, pull that down and push that back up. You can loosen it at the top if you want more room at the top or more room at the bottom. So you just simple pulls on this or you can even it out completely and pull it tight. And then you want to just be able to get a couple of fingers down there comfortably. Okay, and pop your arm down for me and turn around and face the other way. Right, so we're just gonna check the side adjustments. So if we pull down and push up, that will tighten it up and the same to loosen off, you just click and pull down. You can loosen it in different areas so you can have more room at the top or more room at the bottom. And again, you can tighten it. So you can have it tight all the way along. So you want it at least an inch or a centimeter apart. You don't want it overlapping or you don't want it really spread apart. And you want to be able to get a couple of fingers down the side comfortably, but you want it snug, but not too tight. Okay, so a body protector should cover your bottom rib. So if you can find your last rib for me, and find, go underneath and find it. And this foam block, so ignore this bit, this foam block here should be covering that last rib. Is, yeah. is it doing that? Yeah, it's doing yeah. That. So, that, so comfortably doing that. And you also have to watch, it covers it all the way round. So your bottom rib isn't straight, it'll curve it on your hips. Mm. So you need to make sure it's also covering your last rib on your hip. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You can now just fold forward in it, so make sure if you do jump in position, you can comfortably fold. Yeah. And stand back up again. And just lean straight forward like that and make sure it doesn't dig into you. No, that's, that's okay. So now we're going to check the back length. So these body protectors have a standard length from the top of the shoulder to this section here. And um, the bit that differs is this panel here, whether you have a short, a regular or a long back. Um, so yours at the moment seems okay. So if you lean back into me, that panel there bends to give you flexibility um, when you're on your saddle. If you sit back forward for me. So if you're going down a step, it won't catch on your saddle. That seems okay looking at it, but we'll just check it on the saddle. Okay, so now we're sat on the saddle. We can see you've got a full palms width um, from the saddle to the back of the body protector, which gives you plenty of room. If you lean back into me again, you can see it bending. And if you keep leaning back, you can see you've got plenty of room from that to your saddle, so you're not going to catch on your saddle. Let's double check the front again. So if you've pulled forward from the front, you can see there it's not digging in. Is it comfortable? Yes. So you've got plenty of room if you're jumping and it's not going to, not going to get in the way. Yeah. Two more last checks. We're just going to check the shoulders fit comfortably. So you've not got any room here. It's nice and snug. It's not too tight, so you've got plenty of movement if, you, if you're riding and it's fitting nice and comfortably around your shoulder. And finally, now you're fitted in. Once you've adjusted these and you're happy with them, you can tuck this lace up here so that as you're riding along, it's out your way.